ready we're gonna have a lot of fun with some outfit inspiration and i'm gonna guide you through it you're working from home still looking fabulous glam and <coughs> hello people welcome back to my channel salut les amis bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne Hola, bienvenue dans la Ami Canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me. And when you're working from home, especially if you're not used to it, usually you're gonna get a type of schedule going a little bit off here. A little bit less focused, a little bit less motivated, just because you don't have the same routine anymore. So, here, dressing up is a form of you feeling good. Great, confident, productive, on focus mode all the time. All about the routine, it's all about you looking and feeling fabulous. Now, you may ask, who am I to even talk about it? Well, I'm glad you ask. I'm Lady Tavo, I'm a style coach and I'm dedicated, passionate about helping creative style women entrepreneur just like you who's watching at the moment uncover the personal style so that they can show up feeling fabulous, glam, productive, confident, focused on anything they want to achieve for the day, for their life, for anything else. And even more so, showing up on videos because I'm all about it. To have that crazy side about you, well, no time to hide it here. I'm not gonna judge you for that, obviously. First step, or the first thing you need to think about when it comes to get to a capsule wardrobe much more dedicated to you working from home or working at home is what do you want to feel or how do you want to feel it's something that i ask all the time and i say it all the time and it's because it's super important because whatever you feel inside and whatever you're gonna wear it's gonna be a reflection on whatever is going on inside so if you're feeling down and you let those emotions taking control you're gonna feel and dress up in a way where you want to hide not being able to use all the good energy that you can have know how you want to feel versus how you currently feel like it's all about you dictating how you want to feel so that any action that you're gonna have after that is gonna lead to something much more productive and something much more energetic in the theme of having a good energy if that makes sense yes it does make sense Second step is to round up any type of pieces that you wear the most I love my graphic tees I love dresses I love skirts and I love kimono so anything that is a little bit more flowy that's something that I like Fair enough I'm not really into the leggings all the time anything that is way too close to my skin I just don't like it doesn't mean that I don't wear it it means that I wear it a lot less so if you're somebody that obviously go around the leggings try to find a way to get them to a glam level because you can go a lot more with the leggings and still give them that glam feeling because you're working from home third level is for you to add extra spices that's what i call the mm, african spices or anything that you want to add <laughs> anything that you want to add to it. it could be the kimono it could be a sweater over a dress any type of extra layer could be amazing because this is gonna give you that great visual appeal altogether that you can add up the patterns the color the first outfit is gonna be this amazing tunic dress chiffon blouse however you want to call it like could be a blouse it could be a dress because i'm not necessarily super tall it could be anything actually but what i love about this blouse it's that not only is a versatile piece because i can wear it during the summer i can wear it during the winter i can wear it during the spring or fall so all year around type of piece love it versatility is amazing i paired it with a pair of leggings here and i love the way that i did it because let me be honest what i heard about the leggings is the fact that we can see a lot more than actually we need to see sorry not sorry whenever i can get the opportunity to use the leggings the way that people don't need to see my bum area well i do it i love the mules here because they could add something extra even if you work at home because they can just make you feel some type of way. Just love the blouse because it does anything to the outfit. And usually it's that type of cap. Second outfit is still a blouse and the same one. <laughs> I got both of them from Zara. This is not something that I do all the time, but this blouse, I'm telling you, I was amazed, I was in love. There was something about this dress blouse whatever you want to call it it's white instead of being burgundy and instead of having a legging i paired it with a pair of jeans this is not something that i wear a lot at home but is that it could dress up your outfit if you're somebody that don't mind being in jeans at home honestly you can go for it because it's still really dressy and laid back all at the same time and you can wear that to go to the grocery if you need to buy anything else and just add an extra layer to it and that would be it so I love it that way. I love the little pair of shoes. 
I love again here the basic colors. I'm a colorful person at heart, but sometimes when you're at home and you just want the cut and the flowy and the feeling, well, you know, I just love it that way. Another thing I would say with the white is that it could get damaged or just get stained really fast. So if you need to do your lunch or you need to cook, that could be an issue. Love the flowiness part of it. I, oh, it's just cute. The third outfit is a printed long dress that I got from Topshop. It blacked up underneath it because it was a bit way too often for my own taste, you know? So I just did it that way. But you can do a lot of things with it. You can put a t-shirt underneath it and put anything that could be puffy, could play around with the cut and the shape and it could be fun, it could be flattering and it could be really cute. So it can do a lot of things but for me it was just a way to put anything underneath because I was like, Ugh, I feel naked, you know. I usually always, always layer it. Print it, basic, super 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 long super flowy and even underneath it you can wear the leggings or you can wear any type of tights and you can go out do grocery or anything like that love the versatility of dresses that way the more flowy it is the more thing you can put underneath it if you want to cover yourself up i'd rather have something super flowy and then i can use a belt or any type of thing to structure it a bit to my own taste. Go with flowy dresses because they're a lot more easier to belt up. Getting to something a lot more colorful because it's like almost summer, so <laughs> why not? This skirt is oh, super, 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 super new. Super, super, super cute. I bought it, I think, from Zara. I don't remember anymore. So if not dresses, it's gonna be skirt. <laughs> love love my flowy things the more flowy it is the better it is so people being scared of colors definitely get it but that yellow is good and great to go with so many things people kind of feel a lot even me i used to feel that and i realized with time that not a challenging color to style actually you can pair it with neutrals the white the black the blue the green the red anything anything just goes amazingly with yellow skirts and as you can see here i paired it with a t-shirt my graphic is the things that i love to go for it i paired it with a denim jacket was well, from a thrift store love it adore it so unique so we to layer it to somewhere we get to be a lot more creative with your project with your job with your work again great way the next one is my white skirt I got it from uh, Yes Style, it's a Korean website. Well, they have a lot of brands, especially Asian, so Korean, Chinese, Japanese, but high quality Asian brands, which I love a ton. I wear that with my purple sweater, have uh, something really blank, something laid back, the white, and then you get to add a pop of color. Not more structured color is amazing golden details amazing it's pretty it's feminine it's colorful this one is another way for me to pair the leggings with something a lot more appropriate for my own taste i love this sweater because super over comfortable i've had it for years color for me amazing again here it's a bronze shade what i did was to add up an extra layer which was my corduroy coat that I got from Zara, I think it was two or three years ago. I can swear to you, I wear this coat every single time that I go to the grocery. It's so easy to try on, it's so easy to wear, and the color for me is a color that I can pair with anything else. Yes, yes, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, give me more. I go to coat when it comes to the spring, especially right now, because it's still a little bit old in Montreal, so I still need to wear something a little bit more thicker, but not a winter coat <laughs> and especially not a Canadian winter coat. Last outfit is the jogging pants one. I had to include a jogging pants outfit here because I'm a hater when it comes to joggings. I'm not even gonna lie. I love my dresses. I love my skirt. I think it's the only one that I have. And I love it because it's still not necessarily too laid back. For me there needs to be a balance here between something laid back and something greasy. Those jogging pants represent that at the perfection because it, I wasn't looking for something black I was looking for something a little bit more colorful and I got them from Zara they are super 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 duper comfy 
and what I did here was to pair it with a blazer love the fact that you can pair up anything street street style or laid back with something a lot more dressy and for me a perfect way to do it is the blazer I love breaking down styles and if you know me and if you've been following me here for a while you know how much I love breaking down those styles so when I have something way too laid back way too much street style blazers the other thing for me like I get to pair them it just makes me feel a lot better about myself along with a graphic t-shirt I think it gives you a balance between being dressy and being laid back that blazer is good because it complements my skin tone a lot and a tone with colors that actually flatter you is because you don't need to do too many things when it comes to the makeup because you're gonna have a natural glow so those were the ones that i had for you for working at home type of outfit inspiration i hope you liked it of inspiring you even more let me know what you're currently doing at home how you are able to manage all of that the craziness outside still have my coaching program open for you there's a lot of details down below so if you want to be a part of and get to book your free discovery call let me know what was your favorite outfits and what are the pieces that you usually go for and of course i'm gonna see you for my next video until then subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that yet and on the notification button so that you can get notified every single time there's a new video coming out here because there's a lot of massive value if i can be any type of support well get to follow me on instagram because a lot more outfits there and you're probably gonna have a how to style working from home type of outfits there as well just saying until then like i say all the time well smile because it's free and contagious in a good way bye